Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend checking out part one to this little mini video series where I'm attempting to repair a Xbox Series X which I bought off eBay, which I think was thrown out into a skip. I highly recommend checking that out first, but I am going to spoil that video. And basically, in part one, I've managed to repair the console to a point where it turns on, but we kind of had a little bit of magic smoke. So basically, I plugged in the disk drive daughter board, and unfortunately, the disk drive daughter board decided to catch fire. Yeah, I know. So I ended the video there because it was going on a little bit too long, but in this video, part two, I'm going to be attempting to repair the disk drive daughter board so as I can update the console and then finally find out if the console banned, but also make sure that the disk drive and everything works and that it actually reads a disk, especially given what's happened to the console. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor, but hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at the Coder Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can, which is why we're proud to talk to you about ConsoleFix.shop, a great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough, you get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that'll give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. So on my lap here, I have got another Xbox Series X, which I bought for £100 off a friend of mine, Wayne from Get Refurbed. And this console is banned. It can't be played online at all, so it's pretty much no good. I bought it for parts only. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to, number one, use the housing off it so I can actually get a complete console because I haven't restored the housing to the console that I'm working on yet. I'm going to try, but I don't know if I can or not. But number two, I also need a few parts, like I need the power supply, I need the front panels, the Wi-Fi board, the Bluetooth board, I need the mid-frame, and I also need the uh, ribbon cables and things like that. So I'm going to be stripping this one down for parts today, because like I said, I can't use it for anything else anyway, it's banned online. It's basically a glorified Netflix machine at this time. In fact, you can't even use it on Netflix. It's a DVD player. That's about it. But anyway, that being said, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. That way you don't miss any future videos. And if you do want to support me in any way, you can check out some of the links in the video description. There's some support links there. There's some affiliate links there. And if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch with an Amazon Prime account, that massively helped me out, but it won't cost you anything to do other than a couple of minutes of your time. So with that being said, let's get into part number two of this Xbox Series X. Okay, so you may notice something if you've just watched the other video. Uh, like I said, if you haven't watched it already, I highly recommend doing, doing so. This is in exactly the same position. That's because I've just finished the first video. It's just that I thought it might have gone on for a little bit too long, so I decided to end it when this thing caught fire. Bit of a cliffhanger, I know. So, I'm going to unplug this. So, at the minute, this is turning on and working, but this caught fire. So luckily it was the motor controller, so this is what controls the motor, you know, to actually eject and insert the disc. And it's lucky that that was what caught fire and not this chip here, because this chip here is what's paired to the motherboard itself. So without that, it's game over. We pretty much can't do anything with this console. So this is my test power supply, so I'm going to get rid of that because I'm going to be using one out of this other console. Same as these panels here, these are just test panels, you know, I don't actually need them. Uh, same with these screws as well. Um, I'm going to try and restore those screws to use, you know, at a later date, but I don't know. I heard that if you put them in petrol, that might get them up, you know, uh, as in gasoline, if you're not from the UK. Uh, regular unleaded. I've heard that might, that might restore them, but we'll see. I'm going to move this. I'm just going to get it out of the way for a bit. I'm going to bring this one in. So this is, it's not in the best condition, but... It's most certainly in a better condition than the one that I had. So I'm going to remove this sticker as safely as possible because I want to 
Even though he's got the wrong serial number, I do want to keep a sticker on there if I can. I'm just going to heat this up. Uh, yeah, that didn't really go to plan. I don't like to bend the corner, but... Oh, well. It's fine. It's still going to be in better condition than the other one. So, I'm going to get this disassembled quickly. And let's just warm this up so I can get this one off as well. There we go. And, of course, I dropped the screw. And there we go. So, like I said, I just need to take everything out so that's going to include the disk drive as well as this mid frame here as well i don't need any of this here really but i could do with using the heat sink off it so i think i'm going to take that off as well uh you know the i can't really do a lot with the board so i may as well just reuse what i can and that way then i'm at least going to get a a working series x well hopefully get a working series x for a decent price because i can strip the motherboard down and sell parts off that as well to recoup a little bit so the disk drive i'm going to need okay so all of this stuff what i'm taking off here i'm pretty much going to reuse i think and <laughs> well that's the first time i've ever done that I guess this is what happens when you don't take care of what you're doing, right? <laughs> I just broke the uh, the connector off. I guess it's because I don't care about this board. Well, it's a good job it's one of mine. I wouldn't be that rough if it wasn't mine. Right, so I need, I need to take this shield off. And then let's get the heatsink off. I can take that off there. And move that to one side like i said not really a lot i can do with that board so not really bothered too much one thing i can do is just clear off this thermal paste so i'm going to start transferring parts over i'm going to start by moving that safe bridge board out of the way okay let's get rid of that heatsink clamp I'm not going to reuse that or at least not now not immediately Let's add a bit of thermal paste there just to make up for the bit we've lost. It doesn't need to be completely cleaned off and redone. Let's just pop that on there. To be fair, didn't really need to change that heat sink, but never mind. There we go. Okay, so that's transferred over to another heat sink. What I am going to do is just steal this shield here. It kind of acts more like a heat sink than a shield. I suppose it does uh, shield it from some electromagnetic interference, I guess. Next up, I'm going to clean this so as I can reuse it because the V1 board that I've just took out of that housing is a different ribbon cable. So I'm going to clean this one up and try and get it as clean as I possibly can. So I'm going to just soak this in IPA. There we go, and I'll just give it a little bit of a scrub with a cotton swab while it's in the IPA, just to get any residue that's on there off. This isn't really necessary, I mean, the, the contacts on the actual connector are fine, or on the ribbon itself. Just want to make sure that it's nice and clean before it goes back in. That should do it. You can see just how dirty the IPA is getting already. Let's just clean that. So, next, I'm going to want to change the Southbridge uh, heatsink. So, what I think I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to wash this off, uh, this actual Southbridge heatsink, because I don't have another one for a V2 board. So I'm not going to record that. I'm just going to click my fingers and it will magically be uh, nice and clean. Let's just do a little bit of magic, shall we? One, two, three. And boom, just like that. It's uh, kind of clean. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really didn't come very clean. But the main point is that most of the, uh, the crap's off it. It's got some staining around the uh, aluminium, but... 
it is what it is. There's not really a lot I can do. I haven't got another one to hand, so yeah. Oh well. Let's just carry on. So it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Let's just clean off this connector as well. But like I said in the last video as well, I'm going to be keeping this for myself. I'm not going to sell this. I can't. I can't warranty this at all. So I'm just going to keep it for myself. And um, essentially, I'd have paid what two hundred and forty pound for a for a Series X as long as I can get it working properly. So I'm not going to grumble at that. I'm really not. So I'm going to need this uh, Wi-Fi board and also this plate as well. May as well steal this while I'm there. And these cables, why not? And there we go. Let's just get this screwed back in. And there we go. Okay, so we have pretty much a fully reassembled uh, console there. So I'm going to grab the power supply. So this is a power supply from the band console. And now I can get these screws back in. Okay, we are pretty much reassembled here. So now we just need to put the case back on. Or rather put this back in the case, should I say. Give this a little bit of a dust out. Let's get rid of some of this here. the ribbons so this is the fan off that band console as well i'm just going to give that a dust out quickly just off camera and boom there we go clean enough got to use a manual screwdriver now because the batteries have died in my electric one there we go okay so all of that's done so i can't really do anything else with this now until i've sorted this disc drive out i'm going to put this to one side and i'm going to grab this disc drive from the band console Let's disassemble this. There we go. Good stuff. So I need to desolder these two wires here. So just where this motor is, these two wires need to come off just so as I can remove this board. So I'll just quickly do that. There's one. And two. There we go. So I'm going to take this board out then. I actually got a free game with this as well. can't remember which one it was, but I did get a free game with this when I first bought it. Which was pretty sweet. There was a game left in it by the seller. Uh, not by my friend Wayne, by um, the original seller. So he was the third party. He just done the deal for me because it was someone local to him. But there was a free game in it. Uh, I use it as a test game now. I can't remember which one it is though. Right, let's pop that to one side, and I'm going to need this disk drive. So let's go under the microscope. So on these daughter boards, we call them daughter boards because you've got the main board, which is the motherboard, and then the sub board, daughter board. Um, but on the daughter board, on the original drive for the console I'm working on, this happened. So yeah, pretty rough. I mean, somehow, I don't think I'm saving this board. Um, really don't know how it happened, but, I mean, even the traces are just, yeah. It, it's completely gone. It's bamboozled. There's no way of physically saving this. But we don't need this chip. We need this chip here. This is the important one. So I'm hoping that this hasn't been killed because of it. There is a little bit of a black spot on it, which I'm not overly keen on. Actually, no, is there? Yeah, there is a little bit of a black spot there. So I'm not... Uh, I don't know what to think of it, I'll be honest. But either way, I'm going to have to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap this chip here from this board to the good board. So I'm going to use some hot air just to remove this. I've got my hot air set at 420 degrees Celsius. Sorry, 440 degrees Celsius.
And there we go. So that's the chip that I need to put onto the working board. And this is what that board's meant to look like. So, yeah, a little bit of a significant difference, isn't there? But this is a disk drive motor controller, so it's not too bad. So that just controls inserting and ejecting the disk. I'm going to remove this one also. I'll actually put this with the board just in case there is something I want to do with the board in future. Okay, there we go. And I must point out, you will only get one shot at this. If you mess this up and it blows up, it's game over. Just to point it out, so if you are using this as some sort of a guide, don't screw this part up. So I'm just going to grab some flux. Uh, as I said in the last video, I don't know where my plunger is. So, unfortunately, I can't, can't squeeze out the flux properly. Damn you. I say don't screw it up and then I'll go and do it myself. There we go. And so I'm just going to reflow this quickly. Just try and get it to jump into alignment properly. Use some surface tension on it. Okay, there we go. So if you end up with bridges like this and you try and turn it on, you're probably going to kill the chip. So just be very, very careful. There we go. We should be good with that. I am going to double and triple check my work though because like I said I don't want to mess it up so I'm going to look at this real close under the microscope let's clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol there we go let's just give it a scrub with the toothbrush as well because I want to make 100% sure. Okay. And that looks... to be pretty much bang on. That's pretty sweet. Really, really nice solder joints there. By the way, the disk drives on these are the same as on the One X. So, if this ever happens to you, you can use the One X daughter boards as well. I think you can use the 1S as well. I'm pretty sure you can. Pretty sure they're the same apart from this faceplate here. Uh, on the front, this here. Pretty sure the rest is the same on the 1S and the 1X. Uh, on the 1X the faceplate is the same as the Series X by the way. So I'll just solder on these motor wires. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of flux to it. And then just... Touch these wires up. I wasn't quite happy with the quality of the solder in there, so just touch them up, touch them up with some flux. It makes sure that the wires are not going to oxidise in the future anyway. So. Just touch them up with a little bit of flux and then run the iron over them again. Prevent any further issues. There we go. We've got a nice, well, basically restored disk drive circuit there. And hopefully a functional disk drive as well. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look, shall we? Cool. Good stuff. 
Uh, I think I forgot a couple of screws. Well, there's always a couple of screws left over, isn't there? <laughs> uh, not going to be bothered about them, to be honest. Like I said, this console's staying in-house, so I don't care about the couple of screws. They're for the, um, yeah, that cable there for the power supply. The IEC C7 cable. Not going to worry. To be honest, I may be taking these back apart anyway. If not, I'll put them in another time. Not fussed. There we go. And then the base coaster. I call it a coaster. Make a good cup holder, these would. There we go. And we have one dirty, but reassembled Series X. Let's see if the disk drive works. Let's look out for some magic smoke, shall we? Let's also get rid of that light because it blinds the hell out of me. Right, keep your eye out for magic smoke. No magic smoke. And it turns on. Yep, no magic smoke so far. Uh, that was the free game that came with that other Xbox. It takes in a disc. And the disc spins, brilliant, fantastic. Let's switch over to the ugly cam. This should still be synced. Uh, although, then again, I have changed the Wi-Fi boards, so it might not be. Okay, so it is. Uh, why didn't I enable enhanced video features then? Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to run through an update on this and I'll see what it says when, uh, when I reconnect. It is picking up a game. So we've got Doom on there. There we go, cool. Okay, it's going to ask for an update. Come on. Update. Oi. I said update. See. Magic. Right, okay. So, 4.6 gigabytes, and that should run through. So, yeah, let's see what this says. I'll let this run through, and uh, obviously I won't make you wait for the update to come through, because it's going to download 4.6 gigabytes anyway. So... Yeah, I might just connect to Ethernet, actually. So if I connect it to Ethernet, then I'll get the full gigabit connection anyway. So I think I'll do that. Okay, my lights are flashing. Uh, we should see... Yeah, there we go. It's starting to really pick up now. So, yeah, happy days. Ethernet is working. Um, I haven't tested the USB ports yet, though. So while I'm waiting, I am going to do that. So courtesy of cmizapper.com, I'll leave a link in the top in comment. I've got this USB tester. It's going to tell me if the USB ports are communicating with the uh, rest of the system, so with the APU. And yep, that green blinking means there it is. So that port works. I could just test it with an actual USB, but where's the fun in that? Yep, that port's communicating. And so is that one. Cool. Good stuff. So all of the ports seem to be working. The only one that I haven't tested is going to be... Oh, wow, that, that is a little bit stiff, though, in that one. That's what she said. Uh, the only thing that I'm not able to test is that uh, expansion bay, because or expansion port, should I say, because I'm not able to... I, I haven't actually got an external drive. That's just rebooting now, so it's going to run through the rest of the update, and then hopefully it's not banned. I don't think it was the HDMI port though, what it was thrown out for, because that damage probably was caused by the plaster inside the port. Who knows, maybe someone just got fed up with the boyfriend playing it all the time. I don't know. 84%, uh, good, that's good. And uh, reboot. Thank you. There we go. 
Boom. That'll do me nicely. So, Doom needs an update. Yeah, let's update Doom. Why not? Uh, what's he's going to do? Ask me for my passcode? Yeah. Or password, sorry. Uh, right, I am going to sign into my own profile, I think. Let me just make 100% sure that it's not banned. I'm not sure if it'll tell me until I actually get back to the dashboard, so I'm going to go through this. So if it is banned, it'll come up on the dashboard that it's banned. And it'll actually tell me that it can't connect to the Xbox Live services because it's banned. Uh, no. Game Pass is a scam. And uh, no, it is not banned. So I have absolutely no idea why this was thrown out. Other than that HDMI port, or maybe because of the damage to the front of it. But with that said, it's working. This console is working. And I've managed to bring a skipped Xbox Series X back from the dead. So that's going to be it for this video. I think I'm going to do a part three because I've still got... Well, quite a few things from this that I need to try and restore, like, for example, the actual case, which has got dents in it. Um, on top of that, there's the power supply, which I may or may not try to repair. I'll have to open it up and actually see how bad it is inside. But, that being said, this is fully working, by the look of it. Uh, or at least, I haven't found any other issues apart from just the HDMI port and the fact that the disk drive decided to catch fire. But... I say other, the disk drive catching fire is a pretty severe fault, but uh, that happened after the fact. So, yeah, at the moment, I've got a fully working Series X. I paid £140 for it, and then I paid £100 for the other one. But, that being said, this board that I've got here, which is the one that came out of this housing, I can very, very easily strip this down and get way more than I paid for it. I can get more than £100 just for the SSD. So, technically, it's cost me £140 for a Series X. That's not a bad price. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching. And if you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you do want to support me, like I said, there are some support links in the video description. Check out the affiliate links. That all gives me a kickback. And if you want to become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking an Amazon Prime account to Twitch, you can do that doesn't cost you anything other than a few minutes of your time and also there's a link to patreon in the video description as well if you are looking for something else to watch may i suggest watching the video that's going to pop up on the screen now that's going to be the video where i attempted to repair two trashed playstation 4s which were thrown out into the scrap so with that being said thank you very much for watching and until next time i'll see you later bye for now